Brawl it. Brawl it. Yeah, I'll put it on my hand. Yeah. Right, yeah. It's nice to make it. Well, Wentworth Park here down at Kingston is the location for what is said to be a fantastic game today between the Clarence Zebras and the mighty Kingborough Lions. Both sides having some very interesting results over the past weeks, hoping to impose themselves on the other here today. My name is Luca Forrest for Football Tasmania TV here to commentate this match, and certainly the sun is shining. It's set to be a fantastic game here today. The Kingborough Lions line up with number one, Asa Azizi. Number three, Matthew Hess. Four, Gregory Downs. Five, Jacob Hoogslut. Number seven, Alexander Brown, number 8, Kobe Kemp, number 10, Eli Ludema, number 12, Otto Schwartz, 13, Keenan Downs, number 9, Noah Miles, and 23, Simon Vivarelli. The Clarence Zebras, number 1, Mitchell Higgins, 3, Cade Smith, 4, William Blizzard, 5, Samuel Bosco, number 7, Kyle Vincent, 10, Samuel Twos, number 9, Benjamin Tilly, 12, Jack Maundrill, 13, Jaden Hay, 16, Ryan Cook, and 17, Tom McKernan. As both teams head into the huddle for this as the captains go, looking for the coin toss, the match officials out in the centre, about to get this game underway. Kingborough Lions, of course, over recent weeks having some fantastic results. Ruthless in front of goal and ruthless all around. Last week they had a fantastic 7-0 win over Launceston United. And then the week before that, a fantastic 8-1 domination of Riverside Olympic. Clarence Zebra's recent weeks haven't been as favourable to them as they would like, having four losses out of their last five play. However, they do have positive in the Lacassel Jack Cup last week. They did manage to pull off a 3-0 victory. So both sides heading into this match on a high. It'll be interesting to see how they can carry on this positive energy, that positive momentum forward into the remainder of this MPL season. We're about to get underway here at Wentworth Park in Howrah. I'll tell you, most certainly it's a fantastic day for football. The sun is shining, the birds are singing. We can hear the majestic waves in the distance. Certainly passion on display there, coming out of the huddles, both teams take formation. Down here on the touchline, certainly here's some vocal coaching staff today, as both sides want to continue their positive momentum, go on into the remainder of the season with positive results. About to go to kick off. The officials blowing the whistle and we're away here at Wentworth Park as Zebras look to drive early. They go aerial option up to number seven, Kyle Vincent, out there on the right hand side. They Gregory Downs, ready to rise to the challenge and he is certainly more than capable of holding down that right hand side. Throwing comes, strong challenge there between Jaden Hay and Otto Schwartz. No result locked down here on the touchline for the moment as Lions will look to move it up the line, get it out of the stoppage. Throwing comes to Long, throwing up the line. Cleared. However, the ball is cleared out. Good with the Zebras through that of Samuel Bosco on the throw-in. Current Zebras, of course, the home side here today. There is a sea of black, red and white in the stands today. And certainly, the Zebras are the home favourites. Look to drive through. Beautiful pass take, bit of a collision. They go through number 10. It's Samuel Twos. Nothing comes of that challenge. Look to drive through, through Samuel Bosco again. Up the line. Through that of Kyle Vincent. Lions are going to be stunned here in the early moments. They just need to slow down the tempo and remain composed as the Zebras look to a pile on the pressure. 
touch on the line, strength there from Gregory Downs, no nonsense. It was a drive through number seven, Alexander Brown. Now it'll go back to the safety of the goalkeeper. They look to drive, challenge down here on the touch line. Strength there from Samuel Tews, looking to beat two of them. Fires it up the line, looking for Tilly. Samuel Tews squares it. Goal for the lot. Goal for the mighty Clarence Zebras. Lions absolutely stunned on the break the first five minutes. Zebras grabbed the advantage, most certainly rushing out of the blocks to score what is a fantastic goal through Samuel Tews. Oh, the momentum, the strength, the cross in low, diving to the goalkeeper's left hand side, but the finish was so clinical. What a start that for the Zebras. 1 0 so far in this game against the Kingbra Lions. Lions. We know how clinical they've been in front of goal in recent weeks. However, they're stunned on the break here so far. Of course, away from home. Gregory Downs. A waste of challenge. And to go through Azizi. They drive low and hard down the right, right hand side. Look to move through Matthew Hess. Strong challenge that from McKernan. As the Zebras are off on their horse again, through Kyle Vincent, takes it slowly, they look to drive out wide to Blizzard. Bit of fantastic movement from the Zebras so far, as that pressure continues to be piled on. The Lions looking a bit like deer in the headlights, They're looking a bit, a little bit scattered, a little bit frightened at the back. As they slow that tempo down, control as the header comes, looking for Nail Miles. Strength here so fast. Alexander Brown cuts his way inside. Has a go! And the woodwork denies him. Look for the volley. A quick return from the Lions through Noah Miles. First five minutes they go 1 0 down. Two minutes later they grab that scoreline back in their favour. 1 1 here so far. The Lions have snatched it back and we're all even Stevens back here again at Wentworth Park. What a fantastic response that from the Kingborough Lions using their wide men. Alexander Brown, beautiful cut inside, looking to find the bottom right hand side corner, denied by the woodwork, though they were there to pick up the crumbs with the Lions. And what an equaliser. As we're set to go here again after the second goal already in this match, the first 10 minutes full of action and full of excitement. Drive again, we'll head it out. By that of the Kingborough Lions. Douse out there. You'll see him in what is the left back position. Cut inside. Twos. Attempted clearance. It'll just peter out to the line. Yes, we see very vocal teams, very vocal coaching staff here for this game. They know what this game means. Zebras, of course, at home want to grab a victory in front of the home crowd. Lions want to continue that march with a fantastic form. Can Fantastic clinical finishing in front of goal as the throwing comes up the line. Drop favours the Zebras as they clear again. Beautiful turn. Danger, danger, danger in all areas. They cut back inside to twos. Was to get around him. Has a go on his outside. But nothing able to come with that Alexander Brown. It's back inside. Danger passing back in front of goal. They're looking scattered. As the Zebras look to grab back the advantage, they have a go. Keeps the control, beats two of them. Strength there from Gregory Downs, looking to win the ball. It'll be a no-nonsense clearance from the Lions. As it looks to go on the counter. Through Noah Miles, nothing comes of it. It'll be Jaden Hay to move it for the Zebras. To twos, twos plays it back. They look to use the wide areas. They go through Blizzard. This has got numbers in support. Ryan Cook, very present there. They got the line again. Looking to find Miles. Back to the safety of the keeper. Here at warm-ups, just seeing the goalkeepers have a bit of a go at their long-range punting. Certainly into effect here for the Zebras so far in this first ten. Pressure is on, the cross comes. Nothing will come of it though. 
will certainly be in here, there and everywhere so far in this first 10 minutes. The Zebras right on the throat of the Lions early with a fantastic strike in the first five. And then, of course, through that of Noah Miles, the Kingborough Lions gra grab one back. The corner comes in. Danger at the back post. Keepers down. Bit of confusion there from both sides. So the only thing you need to know is that Mitchell Higgins will take that ball and they'll get it moving again. They switch from left to right to the Zebras. The bounce doesn't favour them. Lions look to play securely. Using the security of the back four. They look to just slowly move it in the wide areas, back and across. Look and just exploit the little space there is. The linesman's flag goes up. Lines again on the throw in. Long throw in. Trying to find numbers. Look at a square. Good bit of physicality there from the zebras. Occupy the weak side. That's a starting position. Heads up here. Both sides. Here we go. 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 When in doubt, kick it out. The mindset most certainly on display. So the tempo, they came racing out of the blocks, did both Zebras and Lions. Lions were going to stun in the first five. Where Zebras were able to capitalise, but now the tempo is just slowing down a little bit. With the Lions were to apply that pressure back on, dominate the game, slow the tempo down, play their favourite style. They appeal for a handball. Kyle Vincent, however, spots the pass of twos. Bad touch taken. However, it'll be Ryan Cook, office assistance, fires one in, foot races on. The keeper, no nonsense security there. From Azizi, who's at the back in goal. They get the ball moving again. Do the Lions. Matthew Hess there, has been present so far. Gregory Downs. Well, both sides certainly showing the passion they have on display here with some questionable language out there on the pitch. However, all in good sportsmanship. The Lions still reeling after that decision of a handball that didn't go their way. Certainly appealed for it though, as the ref said. It was his landing hand, it was in natural position, stopping the fall. And so we'll just play it on. As Gregory Downs drives one wide, the Lions in a danger zone, Kobe Kemp. <laughs> uh, the call is offside. Mitchell Higgins. Jiggins drives on the left-hand side, picks out the one man there, plays back with the header, looks to go through the centre. To Jack Mordrill. Cook, Mordrill again. Ooh, strength. What was happening there? Jack Mordrill, with a hip tackle, sends him flying. Not sure what was in the mind there. Not sure what he was trying to do there. However, the ref not impressed. He'll blow the whistle. And a free kick to come. Drive on long up the line. Do the lines. Aerial battle. Not won by anyone. His little Peter out to the touch line. Lines on the throw-in. 
Good to go again. In his first 15, they've been controlling the tempo, of course. First five went against them, but they've dragged it back a little bit, though there are moments where they do come under intense pressure, and that's what the Zebras need to capitalise when they catch them, and they catch them off guard. Fantastic bit of footwork there from the Zebras. A loft one forward, danger zones here, as Cole Vincent looks to square. No, the Lions, no nonsense. Intercepted ball, fantastic stuff from Jaden Hay. Cook again looks to beat two, and he does. Attempts the cross, headed away. Hay again, he'll switch, right hand side. Touch taken, looking to beat the man. Goal, Vincent. Stelman Vivarelli. He won't play it out, he'll play it back across the face of goal. Two's hot on their trail. Otto Schwartz, wide. They drive up the line to the Lions. What has become so familiar to us this first 12 minutes? The Lions again on the throw in. Oh, to drive one forward. Strength in the back from the Zebras. No nonsense clearance. However, not out of danger yet. They'll go again on attempt two. Good use of the body by the Zebras. They go again. The Lions, they switch from left to right. Higgins. No trouble taking that in the safe pair of hands. You roll it down to Tom McKernan. McKernan to play back inside. The Lions step up the, in they step up the intensity a little bit. A lot of pressure applied there from Otto Schwartz. Looking to catch him off guard. Goldmanson calling for it up the middle. They'll play through the midfield. Mordrill. We go wide to Blizzard. Blizzard gets it back again. Beautiful bit of one-two action. And look for the overlap. Twos and Blizzard. More drill. Goes to the save stop option. Goes out wide. However, we go against them. So the Lions want to jump right back on top of this game. Regain control with a possible another goal. Head into half time the superior side and just do what they've done to so many teams. Get that early lead, slow the tempo down and just grind them down in the physical battle. That pressure that pressure of game that the Lions have become so so known for and so meticulous in their planning of. Up the line. Strong challenge. Cole Vincent beats a couple with a fantastic bit of footwork and good bit of strength, good use of the body. Looks to drive. Left wing. They whip it in, looking to go low. Cleared. Lions win it. They look to drive. However, the Zebra's all over that at four against two, just in case the counter attack did come. It'll be Lions on the throw in again. Possibly their seventh or eighth throw in in this game. They beat it. And that pressure game again from the Zebras. Keeping it on the touch line, keeping it locked down. Have the chance now to break to the Zebras out of the deadlock. Mordru looks to play through. They lose the ball. Mitchell Higgins opting for a goal kick. However, that would just look to clear. Not out of danger yet, other Zebras. We're seeing two conflicting states of play and states of mind. We're seeing the Zebras look to break fast, look to break on the counter attack, using superior speed and superior footwork, go up the wide areas, and we're just seeing the King Rollins look to slow the tempo down a little bit. Looking to remain composed, looking to remain strong from the back, moving forward, using their key blocks, then whip it in. Have a, no 
no, uh, no real tactical vision and no real strategy has been superior here so far in this match, given that it is a 1 1 scoreline. So they got time, look to drive, lines intercept. And the attempted pass from Otto Schwartz, just wide of the man he was looking for. Bit of physicality there in the box, I'm not quite sure who it was, but a Zebra's player was dragged down very vigorously. I don't know if the ref saw it, but I certainly did hear from the touchline. And there was some words said. As a throwing counts from the King Reliant. Look to find the tall option. They do. They look to clear. The overlap comes from Gregory Downs. Looks to find a heading option. Just sails wide right of the goal. Well, on paper in this game, certainly King Reliant's given their pass result and given the team sheet. On paper, they will be favourites to win this game. They've got to hand it to the Clarence Zebras. They're fighting it so far here at the moment, using their own unique style of play and using their own unique style of performance. And it seems to be working so far. They're applying great pressure all around the ground and they look to break fast, as we're seeing an example of here at the moment. The Lions have something to say about that. The commentators curse, some would say. A little peter out as the tempo slows down again. Clarence Zebras with the throwing opportunity here. Vincent, they've got in a wide area. He's marked by one, but we've seen what he can do. He can beat two or three on his good foot. So I think he'll have no troubles beating one. Cook, fantastic little back heel. He looks to drive, beaten again. <laughs> Looking for a volley. Look to drive again, danger here. Kobe Kemp, he's out in the wide right, all on his own. He looks for the cross, he cuts inside. Shot's taken. Mistake there from the Zebras. However, they'll clear it again. Could have been very, very bad if things didn't go their way. However, the goalkeeper and the defender using mutual communication really remaining composed as they need to be. That could have been very, very bad. As Jack Mordrell plays out wide to the left-hand side. Looks to use that speed again. Cole Vincent on the ball. Looks to drive using some fancy footwork. He's got Cook in the middle. He goes down. However, the, the official's not very happy with that. Don't know if there's a bit of amateur the theatrics there or it was a genuine, genuine infringement. However, the official, not much to say on that regard. Cleared out. We've seen the threat so far the Clarence Zebras pose when they're on the break and when they've got numbers forward, particularly that of Kyle Vincent and Ryan Cook. But of course the goal scorer is Samuel Tooze, number 10. He's pretty crafty with his footwork as well. As they go again, exactly the two pairing, Tooze and Vincent. Tooze looks to beat. He keeps it in. It would have been a fantastic bit of footwork. Good use of his pace. Cuts inside low and hard. Tries to find Cook. Cook beats two. He goes down the box. The referee points to the spot. It's a penalty. Ryan Cook goes down. The ref, no nonsense. He's not having that on his pitch. He points to the spot. It'll be a penalty. Fantastic chance to convert here for the Zebras. A little bit lacklustre there from the Lions. They just got off that composure a little bit. They just released a little bit of pressure. They were a little bit fruitless in their efforts. And it really could cost them here. 2-1 down the opportunity. King Braface. The Zebras. Ryan Cook to take. And he belts it into the bottom right-hand corner. No nonsense finish there. Keeper sent in a complete other direction. As it'll be Ryan Cook. Gives Zebras that advantage back. What a strike. However, will we see a repeat of what happened last time Zebra scored within two minutes of Zebra's first goal? Kingborough answered back straight away. Will the same thing happen again or will Zebra's learn from the past and change the story and the narrative of this game a little bit? You can see immediately from the offset. Lions look to go hard, go early. They'll play from the bat, looking for a chance to go forward. They'll use Gregory Downs as two as applies good pressure. 
Schwartz beats two. They go wide, they look to drive through the lines. They'll play back delicately. Lofted ball over to Schwartz again. Schwartz got options available there to Gregory Downs. Big Gregory Downs. A bit of a discussion here from the line too. We'll take this free kick. The options they have is Keenan Downs and that of Alexander Brown, both on the ball. Brown looks to be moving his way and he says to Keenan, oh, you can have this one, oh boy. Drives it in as Keenan. Looks. Sails just right. Of the goal, missing the side netting completely. Now they are 2 1 down. The Lions need to take every opportunity here in this match. They're fighting like mad animals, are the Lions and the Zebras. It'll be Higgins. Took it out from the back. He's looking to go wide. Composure is key so far. Look to drive again to the Zebras. Turn over, make come. Brown looking to fight his way. More drill. Just to go to the fine twos. Twos have got Vincent wide. His gaps open. Look to run through channels of the Zebras. They have the chance to go 3 1 up here. They low cross comes. No one home. What a fantastic bit of play there from the Zebras. Nice work. Twos. To Kyle Vincent, wide, looks for the low cross, no one home, but positive signs all around for the Clarence Zebras. Zebras here showing us a bit of their, a bit of their makeup, what they're, what they're capable of, and I love it. It's fantastic to see, given how strong Kingborough have been in recent weeks against Riverside and Launceston United. Seeing them. Be a bit rattled here by the Zebra. Oh! Attempted volley flies high right hand side from Tom McKernan. He had the shape, he had the look of Stephen Gerrard in the prime, but unfortunately no result comes out. He was searching for that top right hand corner. Nothing comes of it. Though again, it's just fantastic play from the Clarence Zebras. Absolute strength, absolute ability on display here. And I have to say, the Lions looking a little bit rattled. They are favourites on paper to win this game, but we're just not seeing it. They said they don't want to head into half time. 2 1 down. They have a battle ahead of them. Higgins again. He's been so fantastic so far in this game, coordinating from the back, keeping the tempo under control, and just coordinating those real fast counter attacks. Andrew Br Alex Brown. Hey. Questionable tackle there. Or what appears to be William Blizzard. And the official blows a whistle, says, oh, not on my watch, sunshine. We'll bring that back here and we'll slow it down again. The zebras, another fantastic chance. We see twos, Vincent, Cook, all in the mixer. Cleared. Alexander Brown looks to switch. What a ball over top. Look to find Kobe Kemp. Higgins. Shows bravery, comes right out of his box. Looks to beat a couple, just Cole Vincent. He's been so present so far in this game. It's fantastic to see. They drive low and hard. Through Benjamin Tilly. Strong challenge. I'm sure you can hear from the King, from the Clarence staff. Vincent drives a high cross in, doesn't find him one second chance. Strong physical block from Douse. Cometh the man, cometh the hour. He was certainly needed there. Kyle Vincent, more drill, gets around him. Twos. 
Well, certainly, quite literally, bodies on the line here for the Lions. As they look to drive again. I'll slow it down. They got Bosco on this right hand side, all on his own. Tons of space available. More drill. Looks to go again. He looks to turn his way through a couple. Does Ryan Cook. Cook beats a couple. Not enough power on it to convert. What a, what's a fantastic bit of work. It'll be as easy. He'll take it comfortably in the hands. What up, Bosco? What up for the fighting option? It's good. Could have been a goal chance there if they saw Bosco. Young Bosco is out on the right hand side. Oh, on his own. No one marking him. They just didn't find him. However, I wouldn't be complaining if I was the Clarence Zebra staff. Positive signs all around. They seem to be controlling the tempo of this game in this first couple of minutes. Gregory Downs goes up the line. Bosco looks for the challenge. Matthew Hess goes incredibly wide. Looks to drive one through. Not too certain as Vivarelli lofts one over. Now can Kingbra return the favour? They keep it in. It'll be Higgins again to come out and take comfortably in the hands. Almost acting as a fifth defender coming out, controlling that tempo. Almost playing with five at the back. Who's going to win the aerial battle? It was... It was Kingbra on the... Jacob Hughes loose. He wasn't happy with that. It'll be Bosco. To Vincent. Closing fast. Here's Kobe Kemp. Lines look to go fast. And the pressure is right on them again. The spectators out here on the touchline, you'd have to duck and watch your head because the balls are flying everywhere here in this match. It's on the touchline again, Downs plays back. It's easy. Look to go from right to left, they do. Through the centre using Downs for the overlap. He switches instead. Kobe Kemp looking to fight his way through a couple. In the danger zone is Otto, Schw Otto Schwartz. Beats a couple for Kemp again. Can't get the shot away. Has a go! Over oh, the top of the crossbar. From the Lions. The Lions having the chances of having those fantastic passages to play with. And they cannot convert those chances. As we approach the half an hour mark, the first 30 minutes, it's been all black, red and white. The Zebras have been controlling the tempo so far in this game. However, the scoreline is only a 2-1, the one goal lead. Lines look to change things. Looks to turn. Both go down. Be Gregory Downs. Not entirely certain what's what's going on. Other Zebras players. As it'll be. Come on, everyone, let's pick up a man. Pick up a man. Watch the runners. Well, the wall was quite far up. They decided to move the Great Wall of Clarence backwards a little bit. As a free kick, looks to come. The arm goes up. They strike and strike well. That was a fantastic strike. However, again, it's been so common so far in this game, just lifted over the crossbar. Zebras get to go again now. Gregory Downs again. Got Bosco closing with speed. 
Look, Cole, Vincent, there in support. Bosco looks to square. To Jaden Hay. That's a crack. What a strike that was. Again, just over the top right hand corner. Good stuff, Bosco. Bosco, though, came in like a freight train, moving with speed. Great anticipation from the young lad. There's a line all to go again. They'll play back to Azizi. They'll go from left to right. Through to Kobe Kemp. Otto Schwartz present as well. Touch taken. Just the holding pass. And they win the aerial battle. They Clarence, they're right back to pick up the crumbs again. Jack Mordrill looks to close with speed. As again, goes back to Azizi. Lines look to go. They peel for a handball. Positive signs all around here with the Zebras. Kingborough, though, have slowed down the momentum. The chances that do come have been well defended. We're starting to see it even out here in the final 10 minutes before we go to halftime. Touch. Low. Back again. That boss go wide. That will go up the left hand side. No one there, however. On that occasion, it wasn't Pop Goes the Weasel, it was no one's home. Touch. Back over the top. No result coming from that. This has become so common so far in this match, they will just play from the touchline. The Lions look to drive forward here, do they? Looking to answer back, even the game up, make it a 2-2 situation. They would much rather have to work with a clean slate of 2-2 they have to fight the uphill battle of being a couple of goals down heading into half time. But you never know with the Lions, they're capable of great things. As Vivarelli with a strong challenge. <laughs> See, as everyone wants to get a look at this match, the plane flies overhead. Certainly some strong opinions here from the Zebras faithful. Kobe Kemp went down there. It's apparently believed to be a bit of a uh, dramatics. As a student of drama myself, I'm not too sure what was going on there from Kobe Kemp. It's easy again to slow the tempo down. He's got Ryan Cook closing quickly. Cook again looks to apply the pressure. It's easy comes again using his feet. Almost acting as an extra centre back. Here the switch, they do, from the central pitch to the left hand side, they'll go back again. So they switch, the switch, go from right to left and back to right hand side again, Kobe Kemp plays through, Noah Miles holds it up, gets, his, gets himself through a couple, Otto Schwartz to Gregory Downs, this close incredibly quickly by Kyle Vincent, as Samuel Tews continues to keep the Kingborough Lions defenders on their toes. Otto Schwartz to Nail Miles. Beats his man, cuts inside. Off the chance, on the volley. What a save that from Mitchell Higgins. He is the great wall of Clarence. He doesn't allow that to go through. It was a fairly good volley attempt. However, he saw it coming. As the corner comes, they don't want to concede here. Do the Clarence Zebras. It's driven in. Header comes. Cleared off the line. 
Watch the long throw. Watch the long throw. Big Gregory Downs again on the throw in. No foul. Kobe Camp looks to cross. Can't lean in though. Higgins comes out of goal. The Zebras maintain control. It goes high and hard. However, no one home as Ludema will to get it out of there. Slows the tempo down, trying to find a pass. He's got options wide. However, they won't be open forever as the Zebras look to close up. Kobe Kemp relays that original pass forward. It's cleared by the King Lions. Lions on the throw in. Fantastic cross comes again. Higgins, simple as you like, using his hands. He cuts off that chance. Throwing comes. Vincent looks for Bosco. The ball remains in by the barest of margins. Bosco looks to drive his way through. Ryan Cook not home. Bosco there, we've seen glimpses of him so far in this game, but it's all been positive. What we've seen. Excellent. Excellent. Vincent looks to close and close quickly. A downs in test anticipated his arrival. Lofted long and high. Now oh, again, fantastic stuff from the zebras. They also apply a fantastic bit of pressure. Jaden Hay. Samuel Twos. It'll go the way of the zebras. So look to drive here. They've got the rapid Vincent out on the right hand side, Cook on the left. They've got twos in the mix as well. Cross back over to Bosco. Bosco looks to beat him. Vincent looks to close and close quickly. Good bit of sportsmanship there from Vincent towards Gregory Downs. Downs went down very, very quickly in what was a bit of a tackle. A oh, slice of cheese comes out here. A yellow card. It appears to be going the way of the zebras. Jaden Hay. As a slice of cheese comes out of the pocket in this game, it was only a matter of time, in my humble opinion, until we saw an infringement. Bit of a chat between Eli Ludema and the coaching staff. Just ensuring the strategy and the planning is understood. As will be Gregory Downs. Looks to drive one in and drives it very, very well. The wind picks it up. Drops back through the midfield. They have numbers as Downs for take two. Looks to clear. Kobe Kemp in a wider range of positioning. Gregory Downs again for another throw in. Eli Schwartz looks to drive it in. Loft a little bit too far. As Vivarelli looks to clear. The Zebra's all over it. Goes up the left hand side. Through King, King again to drive it into the mixer. Downs. Goes quietly down to the line. Looks to pick up Kemp, does Downs with an overlap. They switch now. Now the Zebras win the foot races, more drill. Looks to beat him with the turn, the turn unsuccessful, but he did win the ball. The official's whistle blown again in this match. I fail. Oh. 
Foul paid to the Zebras. It will be Tilly to take it from the halfway line. The options to drive in. Twos is around the box. They look to find Vincent. He's all on his own. Strength there from Gregory Downs. What a fantastic bit of defending. Hold up play. Kingborough now. The chances of them getting one back before half time are becoming lesser and lesser. The window opportunity is slowly closing. Such is taken. Look to drive using speed. Beautiful bit of footwork from the lines. As they find Alexander Brown all on his own. Brown hits the left hand side. The woodwork again goes against the lines. Brown with that wand of a left foot. Tries to get his team back into it. Unsuccessful in the attempt over denied by the woodwork. As Mitchell Higgins for the Zebras. Plays quietly out from the back. Play back again. Lions put him under intense pressure. The Zebras now have their turn to do a bit of, do a bit of defending. They play back through the midfield. Zebras rise the challenge. Looks to turn. Well, not now, not now. Cross comes in. Cleared from twos. Kingborough look to go again. Bit of footwork. They drive it in again. Handed away from the Zebras. Downs again. Throws back into the mixer. That's Cole. Vincent looks to use pace. A good bit of footwork to cut his way through. He's got five to beat. Played off the ball. Here he goes for a bit of a tumble. Frustration on his face. Good turn made by that Kemp. It'll be Vincent again to switch. Can't find the man as Ryan Cook barges his way through like a steam train. This is the danger King face as it goes low left. Not enough. Not enough on the strike. And King can now breathe a sigh of relief that they don't go into half time. Three one down in this match. However, they're not so it's not an advantage towards them either. The wind, the pressure, and a little bit of bad luck. I guess Alexander Brown there. As you lose the ball on the touch line, as Cook looks to play it back. Down forever. Shuts that chance down. As they go from right to left. Drive it up the line, trying to find Kobe Kemp. Kemp tries to hold it up. As the Zebras get in front of him. The ball launched high into the sky. He'd mistake it for a plane. Hello, Schwartz. He's got the runner. Approaching wide. Looks to cover ground. Back again to Schwartz. There's a man there. Goes down again. They attack with speed. The zebra's not clear yet. It'll be twos. Back to Cook. Cook loses that one. Brown with Blizzard closing in. They can just feel the chill from Blizzard coming in on his back. She looks to go through. Beautiful pass beats Couple. As they're certainly in danger of the Zebras. It's Alexander Brown again trying to find his favourite left. They have a go. Wide right. Not quite the bottom corner. Not quite top corner. Right down the middle. 
I know Schwartz there has a, had a go. Nothing comes of it. It'll be Mitchell Higgins on curtains of this first half here in this match. He looks to close it out as the Zebras hope to claim a 2-1 lead in this match. And putting the mighty King Reliance under intense pressure. The Lions certainly can tell by their demeanour, understand that the time is against them here. But they look to play quick and drive it up. Every second they're not moving the ball forward. Here's a second lost. As Cook looks to go, finds Vincent. The whistle is blown. Certainly the ref's whistle has become something we've become very accustomed to in this match so far. Both sides are going to play very physical games, some real hard challenges, and of course a slice of cheese came out not long ago. In favour of the Zebras, however, to the dismay and to the disagreement of the King Blinds defenders. Jaden Hay looks to step up. Guys, one lofted over, chances at the back. As, as curtains of this first half approach, King will look to drive again one last time. And now we find curtains on this first half. The Clarence Zebras claim a 2 1 lead here against the mighty Kingborough Lions. Certainly a physical affair and certainly a lot going the way of the mighty Clarence Zebras. Recent weeks haven't favoured them, however, they're putting up a fight here today. A truly David versus Goliath clash as the mighty Clarence Zebras look to claim their first victory here in the NPL of this season. For all Tasmania TV, hope you're enjoying the coverage so far of this match here at Wentworth Park in Howrah. As we head in the first half of this match between the mighty Clarence Zebras and King Lions. Luca Forrest on commentary. With Macca's new surprise prize, you've got a one in four chance of winning. With millions of dollars worth of prizes, plus weekly draws for your chance to win $10,000 cash. Peel your fries for a chance to find a prize. Our McCafe blend isn't just barista crafted across Australia. Our beans are also sourced from Kenya, Honduras, Ethiopia and Brazil, then roasted in Melbourne. Just another reason it's coffee fit for an Aussie.
anywhere within the same way. <laughs> like even better if yeah. it's in front of the camera. Yeah. So try and get it mm -hmm. maybe just right of halfway line. Maybe on the touch line. Yep. Yeah. Right oh wanna find
Well, we're back here again at Wentworth Park in Hetlora for this second half of the MPL match between Kingborough Lions and Clarence Zebras here on Football Tasmania TV with Luca Forrest on match commentary. Well, the first half I certainly one to remember as the mighty Clarence Zebras raced out of the blocks using a counter-attacking style of play and that attacking mentality to go really hard and really fast at Kingborough Lions. And they're taking a 2-1 lead in this match so far at the moment. It's been a truly physical affair, though the only takeaway from that first half is that Kingborough have a mountain to climb. Strong challenge there. Alexander Brown. Brown was one of the positive influences for the Kingborough Lions that first half. A couple of times he tried to get on that wand of a left hand foot. However, he wasn't able to capitalise on the shots he had on goal. However, the Clarence Zebras are well aware of the threat he poses if you give him the space. Strong out on the left hand side, Otto Schwartz. In recent weeks, you've seen the mighty King Reliance have some fantastic games, and they've been really clinical in front of goal. Last week, they completed a 7 0 win over Launceston United, and then the week before that, they completed an 8 1 win over Riverside Olympic. And they're looking a bit stunned here today, particularly in the back, and they haven't been as, as deadly as they'd like to be on the attack. However, here they go, they have a chance to move the ball now from back right up the forward line. They go through the midfield. As the pressure from the Zebras is absolutely fantastic. The ball drops. For Samuel Twos. Again. What a oh! What a strike! What an attempt! But nothing comes of it. Well, that was certainly an unlucky effect. Kyle Vincent, he tore down that right-hand side like a freight train on the tracks. He put the shot away, but the woodwork denied him. Oh, that was seriously unlucky. It was like an orchestra, like the conductor in front of an international orchestra. The Clarence fans rose and they dropped again. Well, certainly the Clarence Zebras, um, the Clarence Zebras side are looking, looking very passionate about this game in particular, given how in recent weeks they haven't really performed to the best of their ability and they haven't really had the best results they would hope for out of their far past five games they've lost four. But Samuel Twos looks to drive his way through. Two slows down the tempo. They go back to Cade Smith. Smith plays back to Bosco. The play again, beautiful bit of passing football there. As Mordred looks to drive his way through and does and does well. Oh, looks for the little heel. A little bit of trickery there. However, there was no one home. And as the Lions again have found a little bit more vigour, they found a little bit more gas in the take as they look to drive their way through and capitalise on the opportunity while they have it. That certainly would have been something to see if Vincent put the shot away. They would be up 3-1 here in this match against Kingborough Lions. As Bosco using his superior speed and using those real quick feet of his, he danced his way down the left-hand wing. He gets past him, crosses. Ball cleared. Not out of danger yet, though, as Tews is right on top of him. They find Bosco. He'll play back again to Kate Smith. Smith puts one in. On the header. Aziz for the King Lions is under a mountain of pressure. As the Clarence Evers look to continue the onslaught, there's no, there's no relenting. The Clarence Zebras, their, their gas tank is still full 
and is ready to go as the machine continues to operate here at home Wentworth Park as the sea breeze picks up it was a 23 degree day today when I started this match commentary however it's dropped down to about 16 degrees now so the conditions will be much much more comfortable to play in we to go up the line battle on the touch line here Boss goes in again they let's go on the break it's the Lions through Kobe Kemp the pressure really is on here Alexander Brown Looks to have a go, doesn't, passes it off. There's more drill, no nonsense, when in doubt, kick it out. It worked, I certainly did. Zebras look to clear, have yeah, Peter out, cross the line. King Lions now just looking to change the tempo a little bit. They're looking in this first couple of minutes of the second half to have a go. Throwing comes, low and hard. Twos. He's got blokes in support. Turns them. Spills wide right. No real danger of goal. Come on, Sam! Straight back! Look to drive their way through. Kingba right back on it again. Play back through. Oh, good little back heel. Bit of trick where he comes. Kobe Camp crosses it in. No one there. Samuel Twos. Defiant in defence. As Twos, he looks to go again. No one there. They look to slow it down. They go back up the wing again. Bit of footwork. That's Cade Smith. Clears. It's that man again, Cole Vincent. As he plays in his mate, Ryan Cook. Cook on the cross. As the Lions barely get a foot in. Fantastic bit of pressure from the Zebras as he plays them off the ball. However, the ball drops, and they now have the opportunity now to go forward through Eli Ludema. It'll pop over the top, trying to find Keenan Douse. That's it, that's it, Kate. Force him out. No turn, no cross, no cross. Kate Smith applying pressure there. On Keenan Douse. Douse, of course, the right footer. He'd much prefer the corner. Keenan Douse now. And put the corner in. He's got options aplenty. Goes low. Fantastic. Clearance from the Clarence Everest. As two looks to go. And break out of the brown though, applying consistent pressure. Well, the official's certainly getting very, very vocal, ensuring he is understood. This will favour the zebras. Every chance the zebras have, every couple of minutes, they continue the pressure. Look to drive, look for twos. Attempt to turn, create space for more drill, which he will exploit. Guys, right, they play in. The red card comes out. We saw a slice of cheese in the first half, however, now the red card has come out. Altercation on the pitch at the moment. Aziz is down and he's remained down after that catastrophic challenge. It appears Jack Mordrell's been sent off with a red card here. 
Now the tables truly have turned in this match. Clarence Zebra is now down to 10 blokes on the pitch. And Maudrill, he was one of those key players in the engine room. Always looking to go forward, always looking to create something new. He's been sent off in this game. Well, for those who didn't quite see that altercation, for those who may be just joining us, a red card has come out here on the team of the Clarence Zebras. It's Jack Maudrill who's been in the engine room so far in this match. A lot of that midfield work, a lot of that consistent play has been through Jack Maudrill and he's now off. So the big question is, can the Zebras hold on with 10 blokes on the pitch? They still have the advantage, they still have that 2-1 lead. Now certainly the King Reliance will be smelling blood in the water. They're on the hunt now for that goal to so get them back in it and potentially even go on to win this game. So things become a lot more interesting here at Wentworth Park. As the sea breeze picks up the sun dust behind the clouds and one bloke gets sent off. This certainly is set to be a tantalising second half. Can they defend the lead, the mighty Clarence Zebras? Or can the defiance and can the fight of the King Reliance see them triumph here in this match? It'll be Aziz. Azizi goes wide on the right-hand side. They'll play back through to Alfred Hess. Keenan Douse now in a very similar spot to where he was five minutes ago. And drop back to the keeper. Alfred Hess now on the pitch. A pair of fresh legs will certainly assist the Lions. Ryan Cook now looking for that third goal as the Lions close down and they shut down that chance as using Matthew Hess look to drive their way through now in the danger zone uh, the Clarence Zebras Kobe Kemp wide looks to the cross Samuel Bosco however rises to that challenge and dispatches it uh, but the cross comes in and Mitchell Higgins will dive on it. Slow on the play down, just slow the tempo down, get it back to a controlled state. Now they are down one player, the Clarence Zebras. That doesn't mean standards slip, that doesn't mean the standard drops. They need to maintain that high intensity, that high pressure, and exploit the gaps when you get them. There's a challenge with Alexander Brown, out on what is the left hand side. Goes down again, the ref's whistle stays firmly in the pocket. Good challenge made by Kate Smith. Twos is there in support. Twos looks to work, work his way up the left hand side. Back to Kate Smith. Smith looks to beat his marker. Finds Bosco. Bosco drives. It's easy. He'll jump right back on it again. As the Lions move their way from back to front. A strong challenge attempt from William Blizzard. Alexander Brown using great speed to drive his way through and a blistering challenge made by the Zebras to keep the score line the same as it has been. Cook through the twos. You saw Cole Vincent tearing down the right hand side, he was calling for it, he was adamant. That was Samuel Twos didn't see him in time. And the turnover did come as Alfred Hayes looks to drive his way through. Cuts his way through, one, two and three. Cleared again. Keenan Douse. Plays back and across, Alexander Brown. Brown will play it back to security, Gregory Downs. Downs plays it in. It drops. Shot comes. They appeal, but nothing comes of it. The referee doesn't quite agree with the majority of players as the whistle is blown as a signal for a bit of medical assistance. Yeah. Well, the stoppage has come here. 
It may be a blessing in disguise for the Clarence Zebras. That pressure that Kimbra have become so renowned for, continuing, continuing to put that pressure on, continuing to really drive, continuing to really use that great speed in the latter parts of this match. This may give them a bit of respite. It'll be Keenan Douse to put the cross in. They'll rush to the challenge. No one's there. Strong challenge, both go down. Kate Smith tries to clear it. Clear it over into the opposite pitch. So there's a duck and take a bit of cover that one myself. I was in a bit of danger there. Interception, strong. Here we'll just go back to the Clarence Zebras again. Play back through, looks cut their way through twos again. He's been so fantastic so far in this match. Really been the engine room driver, really been the inspiration. That may be the second yellow card. The ref's hand is up. The decision shall come. Dustin appeared at a card. Has come out of the pocket. They play their way right, wider to Eli Ludema. Then the drives one in. Mitchell Higgins right back on it again. He's got a good bit of work to do now, Mitchell Higgins. He looks to slow the tempo down as he'll roll left hand side. They look to drive the Zebras using that speed. They have options of plenty if they want to switch. Two's has gone down. No car comes out of the pocket again. Certainly a physical affair with passion on display. We've seen some cars already in this game that have a slice of cheese and a red card. Oh no! As Kimber looked to break, they got options with plenty wide. Kobe Kemp in the danger zone. Will he win the battle with the ball? He does. He's got to move his way through. Drop one in. Mitchell Higgins again dies on that ball. He's looking for the cross in. Zebras under that pressure now. The tempo is beginning to pick up. The King of Berlin is looking to poke and exploit the gaps. They are one man down the Zebras. So they are at that disadvantage. Now they cannot allow Kingborough to score. Kingborough again right back on top of it. They maintain possession. They have another chance again to go. Can they convert? Alfred Hess looks to drive his way through to Kobe Kemp. No one in the gap though. He picked it perfectly however. That's approaching the 16th minute of this match. In the second half. Low and hard. Go to the Zebras. They find Kyle Vincent. They got options arriving at plenty. Well, the ref's whistle comes out. He's blown there. Old King replies up in the counter for. It was a strong challenge, however, both went down very, very hard. I believe there's an injury, but the ref wasn't impressed. They look for the tall option. Good bit of man marking. Twos loses it. He looks to go behind him. Matthew Hess right back on top of it. Ball lofted. Trying to find Kobe Kemp. Doesn't. And that ball peter out over the line. Oh, 
Well, I've almost seen a, com a complete flip, a complete role reversal here. In the first half, the story was all the way of Clarence Edwards controlling the tempo, making the smart passes, controlling the midfield. But now, in the first part of the second half, we've seen the King of Reliance control the tempo. Every mistake they capitalise on, they're applying that intense pressure. They are a very quality side, so that one mistake here for the Zebras could be all it does. One mistake is all they need to get back in it. Cleared, not very effectively. It's an aerial ball, Alfred Hess will control. Cannon douse again, he's got Bosco to beat. So play it on the line. It'll be Keenan Douse again on the ball. Throwing comes. He's got space. He looks to turn, looks to beat him. He'll play back in the use his time. Strong shoulder. Fantastic bit of work from Kate Smith. He won approaching from his left, one approaching from his right. Uses his body well. Kate Smith, what a fantastic bit of play there. Alfred Hess again in the wide areas, bit of danger. They bring it in, cleared. Back into the mixer. All they need to put on it. Kingborough back in it. They have scored what is an immaculate strike. A volley that beats the keeper. Mitchell Higgins did all he could. However, it just goes across the goal line. Down to 10 men, the other clone zebras. The pressure continues as the Kingborough Lions claw their way back into this match. It's now even Stevens again here in this match. It is a 2 2 situation. The onslaught from Kingborough, it certainly pays off. The amount of shots, the amount of chance they've had going forward, it accumulates in what is one of the most important goals of this match so far. Strength again by the Lions. The Lions again. Alexander Brown arriving quickly. Plays off his man. He looks to cut on his left. Scores! King Hurl back in it. Within five minutes, they scored two immaculate goals. Alexander Brown on that wand of a left foot. He puts them back in us. It. It's become 3 2. What a strike! The King Reliance, you can never count them out of a contest for the longest time. The Clarence Zebras held on to that 2-1 lead. The King Reliance got their tails up now as they drag the league back. Within five minutes, two immaculate bits of play. Alexander Brown there, he tears down the left-hand side on that wand of the left foot. He's been wanting the goal so far all game. He's had about three shots on target and he finally gets the goal he wants. Clarence are down to 10 men. The onslaught will not stop. It'll only intensify. Right back across the line. Wheel the King Lions. Alfred Hess there in support. He's got space. Bosco now drives through the middle. Court looks to win the foot race. Alfred Hess, however. He'll play it out and across the line. Good bit of sportsmanship, 16 on 16 there. It was a positive challenge. Cook to twos. Twos back to Cook. Cook with a bit of fancy footwork. He's beaten by Keenan Douse. That's a corner. It's a corner now by the Clarence Zebras. Every chance they have, they'll become few and far between. They need to put this in and they need to capitalise on this chance. Then the 10 men, they can drag it back to 3-3. Three, three. You watch this crowd erupt. You can feel the air full of tension, full of anticipation for something to come, and for something to happen. Can the magic of the mighty Clarence Zebras continue here today? They drive it in. Azizi, safe pair of hands. The anticipation of what was said to be a calamity of a corner pays out into something pretty uneventful. As here you go, Kingra. Brown looks a bit of fancy footwork, plays it off the line. Play back through. Brown again, the workhorse. 
Bosco looks for a strong challenge. Over anticipates, quickly recovers. It'll be Cole Vincent. Throwing again. By the Kingborough Lions. Lofted to Alfred Hess. Hess will play back to security of Eli Ludema. Alfred Hess now. He's got twos to beat. Doesn't. Cade Smith again. Twos. Drives it forward. Kyle Vincent. He was looking for the space. He was looking for the run. The lines shut down that chance. There's a sense of anticipation about now. From the throw in, it'll be Ryan Cook for the Clarence Zebras. He looks to go down the line. Looks to spot Kyle Vincent. Go out again. Samuel Bosco. We've seen so much of the young guys so far in this match. That should be Kyle Vincent. Vincent goes down. On a strong challenge. They drive the action on the right hand side now, switches over to the left. Matthew Hess. Under pressure again, other zebras. Looks to turn, does, finds Keenan Douse, on the header! Kingborough again, another chance and another fantastic score. The cross from Keenan Douse is perfectly weighted, perfectly positioned and they capitalise and drive it like a sledgehammer into the back of the net. Kingborough Lions, the fight, the resistance for the full 90 minutes to be played, going from 2-1 down to 4-2 up. You couldn't ride it. Good old Will Shakespeare, sitting in Stratford-upon-Avon 400 years ago, couldn't even ride it. It's a story you couldn't believe. This Clarence now looked to make a few changes. The Oliver Jones, James Greenaway, to come on, along with Ethan Medhurst. So Jones, Medhurst and Greenaway coming on now, some fresh legs. What impact can they have on this match? Oh, it all seems to be going against Clarence at the moment as the wind blows in favour of Kingborough. Kick off. Zebras need something, they need some positive signs. Into the midfield, again Kingman right back on it. Otto Schwartz wins it, Alfred Hess plays wide. Touch taken, he'll play with it a little bit, he looks to work his way through using his feet. And waits the pick up, nothing comes of it. Right back on it, uh, Kingborough. Looks a drive through. Brown goes down. Brown is a danger. You give him space, particularly on the left hand side. He is a bullet train. He'll take it right to the goal line. He did score the goal, which brought Kingborough back into this match. It'll be the King Reliance on the free kick now. Maybe about 45, 50 yards out. 
You look to find someone. Looks for the header. Positive signs over here from the Kimber Lions looking to, lep looking to replicate the goal that made it 4 2. It'd be Mitchell Higgins to play out from the back. Brown right back on, even though the match is nearing its later stages. He's still got gas in the tank, the young lad. As in the 28th minute of this second half, the window of opportunity has widened considerably for the Kingborough Lions, but it seems to be closing with every waking moment for the Clarence Zebras. Bosco on the throw in. They've been beat. As Twos looks to control, he beats his way through three. Bosco takes a touch. It's Alfred Hess. Looks to close down. He's got options a plenty wide. Looks to deliver, but no one home. But unlike a pizza delivery, he can't leave that one on the front doorstep. They drive one in. What a chance. He searches from about 40 yards out, looking for that bottom right-hand corner. Literally centimetres in it. Twos. Plays across the line to Jaden Hay. Hay plays even wider. Zebras now. They were calling. Loft one into space. Bosco can't beat it. Samuel Tu's barking orders, addressing his troops. The goal came. The goal of keepers comes from the back. It's certainly Mitchell Higgins. He was adamant that the keeper was going to have that one. Samuel Tu's taking the touch, creates a bit of space. Plays down the line as it lands a couple of metres to my left hand side. Now Mees goes through on the cross. They got another! The Kingborough Lions capitalising on the chance. The Zebras are fading. As the Kingborough Lions jump right back on. The hunt is well and truly over as they bag their third goal of this second half. The Lions have found a new gear they can go to. However, the Clarence Zebras, they'll continue to fight until the final whistle. Positive signs all around from the King of Lions. I'm sitting here in a sense of disbelief how it was only about an hour ago they were 2-1 down and I thought the Clarence Edwards was going to claim today what would be a miraculous upset. Drive it right down the middle. Some new twos. You're going to throw in. He gives it off to Bosco. Bosco to twos. Kobe Kim barking his orders to his troops. As Otto Schwartz looks to barge his way through, finds the feet of Toby Moss. Toby Moss. Takes a little too far. Down here on the sash line, one of the Kingbra, one of the Clarence Zebra staff, sorry, I've just been given a slice of cheese. I've only been commentating for a few weeks, but that's the first time I've seen it happen. 
Certainly the passion and the pressure, but the realisation of the Clarence Zebras, the fact they had this match and they've lost it. Goes down, does Otto Schwartz. The line staff adamant he should be sent off the pitch. Have the ref, keeps the cards and keeps the whistle in the pocket. It'll just be the free kick. Otto Schwartz, not the first tumble he's taken today. The sea breeze picks up in the afternoon sun, comes down here at Wentworth Park. Local time is 4.09. Very, very shortly we will hear the final whistle for this match. In th 33 minutes into this second half. So it'll be in about 13, 14 minutes time we will hear the final whistle. Of course, stoppage time. But time has become the ever present enemy of the Clarence Zebras. With every passing minute. The window of opportunity closes that little bit more, but the Kingborough Lions will continue to keep their foots on the pedal. And they will not let up. The low corner comes, twos, looks to fight his way through, looks to go around him and does. Good bit of work from twos. He controls the tempo. They'll play back across the front of goal. Mitchell Higgins goes wide again. The Zebras now with this tack looking promising. They maintain control, look to use the line. And now my Noel Mees looks to close. How the Zebras clear it? Get it out of danger. Now Kingbury again, get the play out from the back. Two to Otto Schwartz. Schwartz a nice bit of a turn. Plays back. The Kingborough defence haven't had much to do in the second half. However, in the first half, they certainly put that shift in. They'll switch. They'll go from right to left now. A drive low and hard. Two's looking to arrive quickly. A little bit of a stumble, doesn't slip, maintains his, foot, maintains his feet. Gregory Downs will go out the left. He's got Alexander Brown. Strong challenge from the Zebras. As a go from distance, it'll sail wide right. No real threat off goal. Stumbles again. He's been so present in this match so far. Bosco as well. They've been absolute workhorses in this match so far. Now we'll play back to Tilly. Higgins. The short pass will come. As they loft it forward. On the header is the Clarence Zebras. Looking to continue the press. However, Azizi, as simple as you like, he'll take the ball and he'll claim it. So he looks up the line. They play back. Choose again, looks to Katie. Katie's way in front. Does. Come on, Fred. Better than that, Fred. There's Bosco on the throw in. It's Kobe Kemp. Just calm the temperaments of Alfred Hess. Alexander Brown, not very happy with the call there of offside. No one was marking him. He was all out there on his own, had tons of space to exploit. It's 
Samuel Two is getting involved with a few of the players now. Keelan Douse. Keenan Douse will mark Oliver Jones. As Jaden Hay looks to put the free kick in. He's within striking distance here. So he'll look to go wide. Try and drop him into the pocket. As time in this match nears completion. It's easy. At the back to Eli Ludema. Ludema to Keenan Douse. Douse will take up the line. He's got people running in the channels. Beautiful turn from Toby Moss. What a strong challenge from Samuel Bosco. Given the circumstance, given the situation, it's nice having a catalyst. <coughs> he certainly has put in a shift today, the young lad. He's played remarkably well. Toby Moss, though, he looked to take up the line from his mate Keenan Douse with a fantastic bit of footwork and lovely turn. This corner comes in. No one home as it drops too deep into the back pocket. We heard there, Kobe Kemp. He just ensuring that the In his own words, there is seven minutes plus stoppage time. Let's focus. That's Gregory Downs on the throw in. Goes to Otto Schwartz. Schwartz, he's been in the end room today for the King Lions. He's put an absolute shift. He's taken a few hard knocks, however. Kobe Kemp leading from the front. Again, he's been in the midfield. He's been in and around every physical battle but he's been the enforcer making sure the standards are maintained even in the dying moments of this game. But I reckon shortly we will see curtains on the hopes of the Clarence Zebras. But as long as there's time and people on the pitch, anything is possible. Alfred Hess takes a touch on the line, pressured by twos. Bosco pressuring Douse, cleared forward by Tom McKernan. Drop on the header. They look to change Keenan Douse. He's got Toby Moss. He's played him in. Strong challenge from Tom McKernan. He's injured himself in the challenge, however. The desperation, the passion, and the commitment to make that challenge on Toby Moss. And he's injured himself. So we have a little bit more stoppage time to play at the conclusion of the assigned 90 minutes. So rest spot may come for both sides. They can breathe a couple of well-needed breaths of air as this second half. I would. Oh, 100%. Everyone's from face to face. Everyone's from face to face. I want to ask again. This Kimberlines come in for a huddle. Hey, water come. Hey. So, play stop momentarily. Here in this match. Four eighteen the time. The sun's coming out for its final afternoon rays before it gets darker and the evening sets upon us. Bit of a later game here in the MPL. Football Tasmania TV certainly has been an entertaining affair. We've seen ups, downs, lows, highs, left and right from both sides. 
It's been an everywhere affair. Clarence Edwards saw their heights in the first half, in the second half, however. The absolute clinical finishing ability of the Kingborough Lions has seen them take the lead in this match. Can't fault the effort from either side. There certainly has been some catalysts for the Clarence Zebras. That of Bosco, you saw twos get in and around. Cook, Kyle Vincent as well. Everywhere around. Strong clearance, camera truck's in danger. Pressure on the clearance. Keenan Douse. KB Kemp. Oh! KB Kemp. KB Kemp, they had a shot from distance. Saved fantastically by Higgins, had a second go, lifted over the crossbar. Higgins just trying to maintain the composure of the back line, trying to keep a rallying point. It certainly has been a passion packed and physical affair. But so I tell you, have given 110% in this match. Good holding play. Bosco takes a pass, looks to run through channels. King anticipated. Even now in the dime moments this match, the orders continue to be laid out. Alfred Hess to Keenan Douse. Looks for the holding pass. He's got options up the wing. Toby Moss is on again. Boss going in pursuit. He cuts back inside, does Moss. They finish. Kobe Kemp, the skipper. He wanted it so desperately five minutes ago, but he's now got the goal he wanted. Toby Moss looked to go inside, finish, drawing Higgins out of the goal. Good save to be fair by Higgins initially, but then the crumbs just dropped and they were picked up by Kobe Kemp. We're seeing two very different sides. We're seeing an up and about King Reliance side who fought. Now we're seeing a very tired and a very depleted Clarence Zebra side. Both sides given 110% in this match. Both sides have played some fantastic football and we've seen that. Understandably very, very tired. Particularly in the second half would be all the Zebras plays. They are down to 10 men. Each player would have to give that little bit extra to make up for the lack of a man on. And there is the final whistle of this match. Clarence Zebras and the King Reliance. Clarence Zebras controlled the tempo. They controlled the narrative in that first half. Heading into half time with a 2-1 lead. But then of course, the mighty King Reliance. They found a rallying call and they came out of the blocks in this second half. Final scoreline 6-2, the way of King Reliance. Good fight from both sides. And it is a very entertaining match here at Wentworth Park in Howrah. Well, today's coverage has been brought to you by Football Tasmania TV. Thank you for joining us. It's been a certainly action-packed affair, and I hope you've enjoyed watching. Well, I've been Luca Forrest on Match Commentary for today. It's been an absolute pleasure as always. As the mighty King Reliance continue their march in this NPL season, as the Clarence Zebras look to walk away and lick their wounds after what has been a tantalising match of football.